What's up guys, good morning. Welcome to Northern Wisconsin in October. By the look of it, you'd think it's uh, early December, but it is October 20th here. And uh, we've got a little bit of snow, as you guys can see. Um, probably gonna melt throughout the day, but still pretty chilly out here. Significant amount of wind, um, blowing at about 15 miles per hour. Uh, it's gonna be cold and challenging. Um, but hopefully we can get some fish going here. Um, as you guys can see, it looks beautiful out. I mean, just gorgeous. A little bit of snow, dusting just makes everything look extra pretty. What's up guys, we're uh, battling this pretty intense snowstorm right now. Feeling good man, Just trying to make sure our uh, our speeds are controlled with this wind and I'm uh, really focusing on using my uh, side imaging and my GPS to keep us on point right now in this whiteout. You know, it's difficult to kind of uh, keep in, in, uh, in check with your landmarks when you've got conditions like this. You've really got to pay attention to your electronics to keep the boat on point and your speed. When it's windy like this, you can very easily move much too quickly. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products, and by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less. And just based on the conditions we're dealing with, kind of made the decision that you know, trolling is probably going to be the most effective and best use of our time. Yeah, I mean, you can see with our, our, our goggles, uh, ski goggles we got on, I mean, wind chill is in the teens yeah. to 20s right now, and, uh, you know, lioness are freezing up. Yeah. The net's frozen already. I mean, your your options for casting at this point are really limited. you got you got two choices, like we said last night, live bait yes. or trolling. And I think the two of us, when the water temps get down into the low 40s yeah. like this, Trolling is probably the best bet. Yeah, and it, it, it paid off for us right there. And why? You can cover a ton of water. And you can cover it quickly and efficiently. Right. right. You know, you can check different depths. You're able to look at your electronics for nonstop live updates on bait fish location, depth location, and adjust. Now, how about the lure, man? So, the jointed depth rater, it's, it's such a cool bait because it really allows you to kind of visualize what you're fishing over. You can feel the timber, you can feel the different rock structures Absolutely, and things like man. that. Short windows of sunlight and then back to cloud cover yeah. and snow. It's we kind do. of going we've back and forth. We've got light changes, we've got precipitation, we've got a good stiff wind, which is which is nice for trolling to keep mm -hmm. our speeds down. So a lot of good things, man. A lot of good things and we're coming up on a moon phase Dude, here in a little bit. So our, our chances are still really good. The we're legend. Still, we're still up. hoping to put another good one. Oh, you, you better legend. believe it, baby. Let's get at it. Guys, we're out here battling the wind and the cold. We're getting snowed on, but it's like 
as soon as we got this one in the net, I'm in paradise, man. Look I'm absolutely fish, man. in paradise. That is a gorgeous muskie, man. Congrats, dude. Thank you. Thanks for the net, man. Trolling awesome. in cold conditions. All right, let's Join get it back. Join a DR.